my name is Nick freaking Murphy, and welcome to This Game is Broken, a board gaming panel show where a bunch of idiots are given a bunch of super sensual stuff to do. My name is Nick Murphy, and I will be your host, and with me, as always, is our two, name it, two teams. On our first team, we have Dave Luza and Michael Lee Murphy. So, Mike, it is your turn to choose the team name. Hit me with it, baby. Hit me something good. We're going to be the Crap Shacks. Crap Shacks. Yes. Because it's, it's a... It's a little bit, it's inspired by you a bit, but, and I also, I love rhymes. I mean, I don't know. It's just crap shacks. Crap and shack is not a rhyme. That doesn't rhyme. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm part of the German rhyme police and that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> but it's a slant rhyme. You know what I mean? Crap shacks. <laughs> crap shacks. No, it doesn't matter how you say it. It still doesn't rhyme. Yeah, it's a slant rhyme. It's a slant rhyme. I work with kids. <laughs> I, I work with kids. If you're, if you're not good at something, you do it for kids and that makes it okay. <laughs> I could make it the crack shacks, but then that's sad. And that's not for kids. That's not for yes, kids. Yes, that's yeah. very true. Crap shacks, hilarious. But they would immediately know what you mean, so that's good again. Fine. All right, I'll make it actually rhyme, the crap jacks. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what I did there. That equally doesn't rhyme. Wow. Just Dave's head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it though. Okay, here's the thing though, people. We all must remember that T Pain once rhymed mansion with Wisconsin. So Thank you. I'm going with Crap Shacks because I maintain that rhymes. Thank you very much. Um, and our second team here, we have Kiki Amarito and Matthew Jude, and it's Matthew's Woo. turn to choose a team name. So hit me, hit me, baby. Let's do this. I also wanted to do a team name that was in homage to uh to you, Nick. So Yay. we're called the Wacky Rap Bastards. Nice. <laughs> Ah, oh, it sounds so whimsical coming like out of your it. lips. Did you say uh, rat or rap? Rat. Rap bastards. That's not a thing. I thought maybe you were starting a hip hop group. <laughs> yes. Also that. <laughs> okay. So those are our two teams. We have the Crap Shacks and the Wacky Rat Bastards, which are I love two it. wonderful, very, very wow. much nicknames. And I appreciate you all paying homage to me, your supreme leader. <laughs> all right. So let's get this game going, baby. Alrighty, our first game of this historic episode is going to be our expanding universe. In this game, I am going to be giving the name of an expansion, and the teams will have to give me the name of the base game that it is expanding. So, we're going to go ahead and start over with the Wacky Rat Bastards. Are you two ready? Hells yeah. Big time. We might, I might win this week, now I think about it, because I'm on Kiki's team. Yeah, don't, don't ruin shit, Matthew. I know, that's <laughs> Don't <great>. ruin shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. So the first one is Beyond the Black. Oh, wait, I forgot. This one's uh, games that sound like porn titles. My apologies. I forgot uh, <laughs> the game. But uh, <laughs> so Beyond the Black, what uh, uh, what game is that expanding? Oh, goodness. Beyond the Black. I mean, Matthew. I, the only thing I would think of was like Nyctophobia because of, but they don't have a expansion yet, do they? No, they don't. No, there is actually there is. I think it's something to do with vampires. But ah. I wish I'd have known what this was. Beyond the black, something to do, something in space. I want to say oh, something a space point. game. Space game that narrows it down. No, nah, it does. There's only there's only six. Let's uh... <laughs> the classic Eric Lang space game. I'm looking at my shelf as if I own a space game. I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's got a couple seconds. Oh, oh, we're timed. Jesus. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Race for the Galaxy, mm -hmm. Cosmic Encounter. Uh... We'll go Race for the Galaxy, but I know it's it's not. All right, so Race for the Galaxy is incorrect. I'll pass it over to the other team. Do you guys know Beyond the Black? D did you look into the small corners corners of your board game shelf? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because this box might have been Tiny Epic. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling galactic and tiny at the same time, Dave. I think you're right on, brother. I was thinking the same thing. Tiny Epic Galaxies. That is correct, indeed. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Dave and Mike, your first one is Tribes and Prophecies. What is Tribes and Prophecies expanding? Gosh, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Someone out there, <laughs> someone out there listening is saying that. Saying that's, yeah. that's that one oh, game. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I know it. Oh, crappy snappy. I'm changing our team name to crappy snappy. <laughs> Zolkin? Mike Murphy is 100% correct. Good job, Mike Murphy. Yes. Zolkin. I mean, those are the gears and the spinnies as Dave did all the, the legwork there. Yeah, the gears and the spinnies is pretty much one game. I'm, I'm now Googling for, for that porn version. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Just, yeah, type in gears and spinnies and stuff will happen. All right, Matthew and Kiki, we're going back over to you. Path of Destiny. What is Path of Destiny expanding? Path of Destiny. That's also important. Just let you know. Oh, I know, I, I know this. I, I know, actually know this. What is, what is it? I think I, I think I own this, which is pretty good. It's uh, Seasons, right? 
It is seasons. Yeah, it is man, seasons. Yeah. Wow. Dang, I thought I was going to stump you on that one. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Good, good, good. I thought the seasons expansion one had a different name. There's oh. two expansions. The other one's called Bigger and Blacker. Um, <laughs> <and> so... <laughs> I was so desperately trying to think of that same joke, but you got you got there. Just stack it quicker than I did. <laughs> uh, okay, Mike and Dave. Yours is ooh ooh secrets. The ooh ooh is not part of it, but secrets. I feel like the ooh ooh is such a good clue, though. Oh, I know this one. Dang. Yes. There's no game with secrets. Yes, it is. Um, it's uh, the castles of Mad King Ludwig. Castles of ass 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 ass. You are right, a hundred percent. What are the what are the really? what are the secrets? The the secrets is just that there's swans now. I think that's the whole <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah, all it is. <laughs> the swans in the pond. It's like uh, underground passages and like secret rooms and that kind of stuff in it. Which makes sense. Oh. oh, that's cool. Skeletons in the closet you have to collect. This has been a very informative podcast so far. <laughs> yeah, we should no, ch- change that. You're welcome. Okay, Matthew and Kiki, going back to you for your last one. Your last one is Forsaken Lore. Sounds scary. This is yeah. a scary Wait, podcast. how is that a point? <laughs> it's fantasy themed. It's fantasy. Right, right. Satyrs and things. It's historical fantasy. Okay. <laughs> It's like King Arthur and Merlin comes in. Merlin's like, do you need help with your cable? And then she's like, oh, I do. And that's going on the YouTube channel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know which end of the centaur to put my dick in. <laughs> I, uh, I have no idea. I've, I've even forgot. F- forsaken lore, was it? Yes, Forsaken lore. You don't have Forsaken lore here, do you, Mike? I sure don't. Dang it. Or maybe I do. That's happened before where Nick's like, you own this game. I'm like, nah, I don't. Is it something like mysterious and, and Cthulhu-y and... Yeah. What, just straight up giving an extra clues? Yeah, why not? They're losing. I'm not, well, I didn't say it. Did. I said it sounds it. We don't know. What are the HP Lovecraft games? Arkham Horror and all that stuff. Eldritch Horror. Eldritch is the correct answer. Oh, oh, your own. I well love it. done. Well done. Really <laughs> fair. Great <enough>. work. <laughs> Fine deduction on your. I love it. Fine deduction. Okay, David <laughs> Mike, the last one of this round, our expanding universe, is Jewelry Box. Oh, I love this one. I know it. <laughs> Splendor, something with jewels. Jewelry box sounds like a like a game component upgrade. I don't It uh, is not that. <laughs> Incorrect. It's Arcadia Quest, duh. Because I saw something on the internet. <laughs> sure ain't Arcadia Quest. It's Rococo. It is Rococo, indeed. Well, now I'm interested. What you can get jewels now? Rococo has a little expansion called uh, Jewelry Box. Yes, indeed. Okay, so after that round, we are actually tied up at three points apiece. All right, so the next round is called Roller... It's cold. We cold it. Sorry, let me start again. Bro, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. So our next round is called Roller Coaster... Don't bother redoing it. The first one's going in. <laughs> is that right? Okay, fine. No matter what you do. So this no round is called Roller Coaster or Kinesia. Ryder Kinesia is an extremely prolific designer with over 600 titles accredited to his name. 600? I know, isn't that wild? With that many titles, things can start to get like a little confusing, though, because you're like, is this a Reiner Kinesia game or is it something else? So in this game, the teams will have to tell me if the name I give them is the name of a roller coaster or if it's the name of a Reiner Kinesia game. This one's bound to get loopy. Get it? <laughs> get out. I love what you did there. OK, we're going to start off with a Dave and Mike. Dave and Mike, Ooh. your name is Millennium Force. Wow. Sounds like a roller coaster. Oh, it'd be a, such a great roller coaster. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I hope it's a roller coaster. Sounds badass. It, it, it's too English to make it a, a Kinesia game. That How we... dare you? We invented spoken language. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. One of our countries is a millennium old. The other one isn't. <laughs> <laughs> that Fair is enough. correct. <laughs> Millennium Force is a roller coaster at Cedar Point, and it's the eighth tallest steel roller coaster in the world. I'm loving the fun facts. Keep them coming. Yeah. I have to say I'm very happy there's facts. Yes, there is facts. Dave and Mike, your next one is Gold Digger. It sounds like a very bad song. <laughs> so there <laughs> is... <laughs> Funny that. When I'm in need. Now, there's a famous monster truck called Grave Digger. I don't know if that applies here. It, it sounds like a, a very simple Kinesia game to me. Yeah. You have to 
uncover cards that have gold or not. And blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm down with Kinesia. I'm down with Kinesia on this. Oh, uh, look, you know so much. Cool. Uh, <laughs> it's, a fun, it's a fun game. Give us a fun fact, Nick. <laughs> I don't have a fun fact about gold. Digger. I just know that it's a game where you are prospectors and you're staking claims and mines to get riches. But it's a very light Kinesia game. You're right about that. <laughs> oh, ooh, wow. Okay. Last one for you is Rooster Booster. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, if it's a booster, it sounds like a. Oh, sorry. This is still the porn title one. My bad. Um, <laughs> Rooster <laughs> Booster. Oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, I'm down with a roller coaster. I think it'd be like in the kids area of like, uh, you know, theme park. And it's kind of like. Uh, if you're in a kid's theme park and someone says, hey, kids, come over here and ride my Rooster Booster. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that your final answer? Yeah, we're going to go for a, for, for a roller coaster. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. It is a Kinesia game. It is a chicken what? themed simultaneous selection game. Really? See, the point is, it sounds like a roller coaster. <laughs> Get it? Write a big ass chicken. I want that in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move it over to uh, to Matthew and Kiki. Matthew and Kiki. You forgot our team name, haven't you? In my notes, I have your names written down, not your team names, because I didn't know your team names. So I, I'm reading that. <laughs> sorry. We're going over to the wacky rat bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking bing bongs. So your first one, the Wacky Rat Bastards, is Dragon Parade. Dragon Parade. It's a really slow roller coaster. Dragon oh. Parade. What do you think, Matthew? I just think it sounds like a roller coaster, doesn't it? Does I mean, it not? Yes. What do you think? It could be a game. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> oh, Nick, you rat bastard. <laughs> I think we should go with a game. Yeah, because it goes against your first instinct. Yeah, that's how I live my life. We go with game? Okay, we're going with game. Matthew, do not trust yourself because it is a Reiner Knizia game. You are dead right about being wrong. Yay! <laughs> Dragon Parade is a Knizia game. It's a game about the Chinese New Year. Oh, Ooh. lovely. Rich okay. with theme. Yes, that's that's how Knizia goes. Theme first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wacky Rat Basses, your second one is Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run. Now, Outlaw Run sounds like a Western roller coaster, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be like Knott's Berry Farm or something. You know, outlaw run. Although I don't know, everything's so PC now. What they do? What they do? What does that mean? Outlaw run. You can't run. call them outlaws. You can't do that. <laughs> no, they're but they're like bandana face. What is people. that ride gonna be like? Outlaws are like chasing you. It's a roller coaster, isn't it? Come on. Is it? I don't know. How does that work as a roller coaster, really? Because it's like this. Ding, 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 ding. That's a roller coaster. Matthew Jude belongs on the West Coast. Ah, all right. I mean, you know, but you you have a feeling that it's a roller coaster, so shouldn't we say that it's a game? <laughs> so you know, I'll go with whatever you say, Kiki, but I reckon it's a roller coaster. All right, well, let's say it's a roller coaster so I can blame you if we're wrong. <laughs> Matthew, always trust your first instinct because it is a roller coaster. <laughs> all, right, all right. Matthew's instinct all right. is on point. I'm so conflicted now. <laughs> no, tell me about this roller coaster, though. How does this work? It is, I don't know how it works. I mean, I'm assume, assuming it's on a track <laughs> and it's run by electricity. <laughs> and, uh, it is in Silver Dollar City, the theme park, and it's the fifth fastest wooden roller coaster in the world hmm. oh that's terrifying it's the fifth quickest draw in the world exactly it's got to be wooden that would be weird if it wasn't wooden right okay your last one wacky rat bastards is python in bamboo forest it's got to be a game right what kind of roller coaster would be like come ride the python in the bamboo <laughs> forest oh it's a game this is still the porn game you're right it's a hidden movement game baby i think <laughs> <laughs> We're not in the porn section anymore. But. I reckon it's a roller coaster. <laughs> well, I feel it's a roller coaster as well, if that helps. No, that doesn't help. At all. <laughs> You're not it's alone. Now I'm super confused. Dave's Bruce Carter. Okay, Kiki, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Wait, what's the full. Is Python in the hidden forest? That's what you said? Python in bamboo forest. Uh, I mean, I my first instinct was it's a game. And we haven't decided if my instincts are ever good or not. So. Okay, we'll go with game then. Well, I'm happy to do go with you, and then if you're wrong, I can blame you. I don't like that, but okay. All right, I'll put myself out there. It's a game. Ooh, unfortunately, it is a God roller it. coaster. It <laughs> is How a roller is that coaster. a roller coaster? It's in the Nanchang Wanda theme park in China, and it's the sixth... Oh, we've all been there. I know, obviously. <laughs> it's the sixth longest wooden roller coaster in the world. All righty, people, that is the end of that round, and we are still tied up, and now it is five to five. We're going neck and neck. People battling in this one. Okay, so this round is called 
big game to the little box. In the little box, we're talking about the TV box because it's smaller than a a movie theater. (laughs) Get it? (laughs) In this game, each member of the teams will have to take a well-known game and turn it into a TV show and then sell why that show would work. TV is dead, but let's keep it going here. Everything's moving to streaming. So if you want to make a Netflix show, I guess you could do that. Let's go ahead and start. Dave, what game would make just such a good TV show? Yeah, I would love to pitch this idea. Um, It's Carcassonne, first off. Interesting. Imagine a very blend world where you have farmers living as farmers. Knights in in, in (laughs) castles. The farming farmers. Yeah. And uh, well, and and, and you've got some mungs and uh, and it's very boring, but it's only the setup because a week later they have the the, the networks have been doing some research and they say, you know what we need? We need uh, we need some mystery. Uh, People love mystery. So we we introduce the inn at the lake. What goes on in the inn at the lake? And who is that lady that lives inside the cathedral? And then, oh, yeah, okay, we've got a couple of episodes going in and everything gets bored and it's, oh, man, come on, we want more intrigue. So that's what we give them. Different traders end the series. You've got different people trying to get some more goods and stuff. And then that gets, uh, the other channels are, are booming because they've got Game of Thrones. Oh, sure, we've, we've got dragons. Sure, we'll enter dragons into this series. And uh, <laughs> sure, our princess is sleeping with her brother. No problem. Because, hey, it's Carcassonne. Anything can happen. And then you live action now. Okay, how about we put some a a catapult in it? Sure. Put a count, a king, a robber. The series that is always giving what the network's producers want, Carcassonne. (laughs) You sound like a a producer who's desperately trying not to get (laughs) cancelled. We'll give you whatever you want. You want a catapult? Build him a catapult. (laughs) Here's the thing, Crap Shacks. I really like the idea that... I like that you chose a game with a lot of expansions because you're like, look, we can keep going. Like, we can just keep making this thing going. I I enjoy that. I'm going to give that three points. We're in the 13th season and we still got ideas for for, tunnels. Sure, we've got tunnels. Yeah, I like that. I I, I appreciate that, uh, that approach. Next, we are going to go over to... Kiki. Oh, me. Yay. Okay. So I was thinking about, you know, your question here. And all the games that were coming to me were like action packed and like exciting. But I decided to go like the complete opposite way. I decided to go for like a TV show that you wouldn't think would be super interesting and exciting and intense drama. But it is. It's going to be like, you remember that movie Remains of the Day with Anthony Hopkins? Like, you know, they're all. Yes, actually, I do. That's a great film. It's yeah, wonderful. And it's so like every tiny little bit of emotion that you get, they give you, you're just pouring on their every little word. You're like, mm. feel something, show us. Well, he's just been looking out a window for 30 minutes. <laughs> <but I'm intrigued. laughs> so but we're going to go with, with uh, Biblios here. We're going to have Ooh, a, bunch of, like a bunch of monks in a monastery and uh, and the drama that comes behind, like preserving the most. I've seen this porn. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> so they want to have the most prestigious library, but they're monks. Ooh. So they're like really conflicted because oh. they're men of God, but they're not supposed to be feeling these feelings of like competition. And Ooh. yet they have to preserve these books that are really important to all of humanity. But the rest of humanity doesn't quite know it. So like they have people coming in going, what the hell are you doing all these books? You know, like, what are these strange letters? <laughs> There's so much opportunity for like interesting episodes where it's like inside the monastery, outside the monastery, you know, it, like tense situations between the monks. One of the monks like decides that he doesn't want to be a monk because he's in love with one of the women that doesn't understand books. Oh, my God. There's so much opportunity here. Ooh. Biblios. So much <laughs> intrigue. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm giving that three points. I, I'm interested in that. Yeah. That sounds great. My favorite part was the the one monk that you voiced seemed to be from New Jersey. And that's just... <laughs> hey, hey, you got these books. Hey, man, I love her, all right? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome oh that's amazing all right mikey uh part of the crap shacks bring it home what's 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 a nice sexy title you got here the sexiest title all sexy titles have a number in them and <laughs> mystery okay <laughs> so we're gonna take you to the seventh continent the most original Ooh, yes. idea that's never ever hit tv screens okay <laughs> so the whole thing is like you're landing on a mysterious island there's a whole bunch of weird stuff parts are like jungles and there's like weird things and like maybe you crash land a plane on it. I don't know how you get there. It's just like you do that. And the point is you get to play characters. There's a hatch maybe and there's underground stuff. Maybe there's weird numbers. There's some dude named Hurley and Jack <laughs> oh, and Kate what? and Sawyer and Saeed and Desmond. And I'm starting to think I missed that show. There's like a hobbit, but he's not a hobby. He's a heroin addicted rock star, you know, in this one. And like it, it's not Penny's boat. 
It's not Penny's boat, but there's penguins and uh, <laughs> no polar bears, though, and no smoke monsters. That would be crazy. Could you give me an idea of how this all will end? Because this sounds amazing. It never does. That's the thing. It just keeps getting more and more mysterious the more Ugh. you walk around. And then you're kind of like, it probably should have ended already. The best way to end those things is for all the writers to go on strike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's right in the middle. Right in the middle. All right, I'm going to give that one point. Cool. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. That's, makes sense. Because that's oh. lost. That's what that is. All right, Matthew, you are the last one. Give me a TV show that the, the masses want to see. Okay. I can. Do, I, no problem. I can do that. <laughs> Just chain smoking cigarettes and necking a bottle of whiskey in a room in the back of this studio. It's fine. Okay, so picture this. <laughs> Two armies are standing at either end of a great smoke-filled battlefield. They've been waiting there their whole lives for this moment. The mighty will rise and the weak will fall. Will you become the queen or will you be taken hostage by the evil enemy? Slaughter, chaos, and the slight indication of some kind of underlying race war <laughs> this summer coming to a small screen near you. Chess. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Checkmate, motherfuckers. <laughs> it, this, I'll give it two points because the setup was great, you know? I had a tagline in everything. It was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It was great. You use your one hard F. <laughs> <laughs> I only get one hard F a show, and I have to bleep that out. And I thought, you have to be very careful when you use it. It's true. Yeah, it's true. You don't it's... want to waste it. No, you sure yeah. don't. Is that true? You give yourself one a show? Is that, like, for realties? Because that's funny. Hi, it's Matthew here. It was at this point that the show got very, very sweary. But I've dealt with it in a way where I think, I think we'll get away with it. You'll hardly even notice. That's slappy. Funny, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> So I want, but I haven't said it. So um, the weasel scores are the crap shack <laughs> oh, have nine, <laughs> and the wacky, the wacky rat bastards have ten. All right, so we're bringing this round back because Nick is host, and this is Nick's nickname generator. So it's objectively true that I come up with the best nicknames, which is why everyone here made Nick type names for this episode in homage to me. So in front of me here, I have a list of nicknames. I have three columns with 10 words in them, and each contestant is going to pick three numbers at random, one through 10, and I'm going to give them three random words, and that's the name of a game they have to pitch, and they're going to have 30 seconds to pitch that game to me on the fly. Mike, you are going to go first. Why don't you give me three numbers, one through ten? We're going to go eight, two, three. Okay. So we have Squishy Bananas Zombies. Squishy Bananas Zombies. Yes. This is such a good game. Okay. <laughs> we all know that there is, everyone has a specific window in which they prefer their bananas. There's about a 30 minute <laughs> period where the banana is good and it's either too ripe or not ripe enough. But we all know that if you get too far beyond uh, <laughs> with bananas, they turn brown and squishy and gross. And you either have an option, you turn them into banana bread or you let them some bitches rise up from the dead and start taking over the world, okay? <laughs> and here, saying I ran out of flour, so we got to stop these squishy zombie bananas. Boom. All right, they're running around, all right? They're just, they're acting a fool. They're making everything <laughs> smell real good. Um, they have too much potassium. Well, I mean, maybe you let me go a little bit longer because I had something <laughs> no, going. No, nope. You have 30 <laughs> seconds. I had to the mechanics. It is simultaneous selection. <laughs> 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 Somehow. I hadn't quite got to the mechanics. I was all theme at that it's point. It's okay. You can go theme. I don't mind. You got 30 seconds though, so. <laughs> and it's a dice drafting game for some reason. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's actually really good. That was a good mic. Yeah, that was actually that was great. I feel like the new the new thing that's coming with board games, like minis are out. What people are going to be into are squishy components, squishy like oh, the true. berries yeah. in Everdell. So you actually yeah. make minis that are kind of squishy. They have squash and you can kind of so it's got that good squish. Yeah. Squishy toys are really hot right now here in 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 Germany. Is that is a thing there as well? Yeah, they I are. I think so. I don't know what. People want to be able to squish something, but only a little bit. Not squishy, but just like, oh, there's some movement there. <laughs> there is anyway. Some you can puppeteer them a bit. Yeah. All right, Matthew, you're going to be next. <laughs> Give me three numbers, my man. Okay. One, four, and six, please, my good man. 
All right. We have Fancy Psychic Douche. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So in this game, Fancy Psychic Douche, <laughs> we have... We have a a, uh, a a a woman who who is taking a shower because that's what we're using again because that's what Dave did last time with the word douche because I'm unpre- I'm unprepared to uh, do anything different and this woman she's she's oh God, I've got nothing she's fancy she's doing a psychic thing and she can see the future when she's taking a shower ah. is, and when she sees the future so what happens is at the start of the game she sees the future and then you have to go out and and do the mission that she says and if you do the mission that she says. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I hate this game so much. I'm so off put by anything. You got you got such a good role going. You got so excited. I'm sorry that I make you do this game. Don't be. I love fantastic. this game. All right, Dave, you are next, my man. Mr. Crap Shack Supreme. I love it. Give me some three numbers, baby. For some reason, I've got only three numbers. Nine one one. Read into that when you might. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Nine one one. All right, Dave. The game you are pitching to me is ridiculous candle flamingos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ridiculous candle flamingos is a trick-taking game, of course, because you wanna uh, because there's this setup <laughs> where uh, rock paper scissors like w- what is better, and you've got the candle, which is of course better than a flamingo. But whatever beats a flamingo is a bat. So you've got a bat, a candle, and a flamingo. But there's also fire because it's fun <laughs> to put stuff in fire. Fire. So that's the the the. Oh, it's a bit like skulking, and uh, you've got variable player powers because if um, if one player, the first player, he, he holds the bat, then he's bad at it and he probably hits himself. So you've got the the variable player powers are negative to the players. So yeah, dude, look at this guy. Said mechanics right out the gate. That's how you yeah, know he's a professional. I was impressed. That's how you know he's Super professional. impressed, Dave. That's the way to do it. You got to stop. Give yourself something. Make something that's actually tangible. <laughs> well, that was that was my favorite about yours, Matthew. You started to get something going. You started like, ooh, ooh, and you started talking yeah. fast. It was awesome. <laughs> I actually think this is gonna be a great game. <laughs> All right. Well done, Dave. It's Rainer Kanitsi classic awesome. and also a roller coaster. Kiki, this is gonna be your turn now. What are your three numbers? I'm gonna go for three, five, and two. Ooh. All right, three, five, and two. Sorry. So your game that pitched to me is synthetic lobster asses. Didn't I have that last time? I played that. <laughs> well, asses is a word we might have used before. <laughs> synthetic lobster asses. All right, all right, all right. So... <laughs> In synthetic lobster asses, uh, it, it is it is a deja vu game where you are trying Ooh. to remember the last time you had lobster. But in order to do that, you have to go to this chef that makes lobsters out of synthetic materials because it's the future and lobsters don't exist anymore because we've killed everything in our ocean. Wow. So in this game, it's Whoa. kind of like a... Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed, really. It's a, it's a bribing game where you have to bribe the, the chef that is the, the synthetic you know, chef that's creating all of your lobster treats so that you can jog your memory to, to the last time you had Damn. lobster. This is amazing. The game is so yeah. dark. <laughs> tell me more wow. about plastic soup. <laughs> plastic soup. You say tell me more. <laughs> it's where we're going, you know, it's where we're heading. So our scores after that round still got a close one. The Crap Shacks have 13, but the Wacky Rat Bastards have 14. Ooh. Oh, oh man. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Keep that Anybody's oh, game. Way. Our last round of the game is called How Much is Too Much? And this game is all about expansions. And I was thinking about this because a lot of times <laughs> with like things like Essen or Gen Con, I'm usually more excited about expansions coming out mm-hmm. for games that I love more so than like new games. So I started thinking about wrong. Mm-hmm. Incorrect. <laughs> so in this game, we are going to be guessing on how many expansions a game has. It's kind of like higher or lower. So I'm going to give you a seed game, and then I'm going to give you the other game, and you have to tell me if that game has more or less expansions than the game before it. So the seed game is Cosmic Encounter. Cosmic Encounter has six expansions. So Matthew and Kiki, does Dominion have more or less expansions? And you can get a bonus point if you can name how many expansions. Oh, goodness. It definitely has more. Do you think it has more, really? I will. Let me give a little caveat. I'm going off BGG, and I didn't include things like promos, like because all those are under expansions, but Dominion has like 900 that way. So I'm just counting like actual expansions. Okay. It's definitely got more. I mean, 100%. Really? Okay. 
I have like five of them. So to me, that's all that exists. <laughs> <laughs> the new one came out at Essen uh, Renaissance, didn't it? Anyway, so definitely more. So I want to say it's got 12 expansions. Damn, son. But I mean more, but I, w- I want a bonus point. All right, it is more. You are right about that. It does not have 12. It has 10. Oh, wow. son of a bitch. Ooh, so close. Wow. So close. Okay, so over to the crap shacks. Dominion has 10. Does Power Grid have more or less <laughs> expansions? Than Dominion. Oh, man. Uh, this is a game that I've always wanted to play and have not had a chance to, but I know that there's all sorts of versions of it. There are maps of just one state in Germany. So, I mean, that's an expansion. So, yes, it's got more. I'm going to go over to number 15. How about that? I was going to say 14. I'm with you. 15. Nice round number. It does have more. You are right. Uh, the expansions that I counted were 11. 11. Ooh. So it does have more, but just barely more. That's still a significant tricky, tricky, amount. Tricky. It's a lot of expansions. Barely more is my porn name. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Um, all right. Back over to the Wacky Rat Bastards. Imperial Settlers. Does Imperial Settlers have more or less than power grid. I mean, Matthew, what's your instinct? It's definitely less. Okay, good. I was thinking less, but not because of any kind of knowledge. <laughs> Just because he's been more and more that's, excessively that's how less. We operate. Yeah, you're right. It's definitely, it's, yeah, it's definitely less. Okay, but I reckon we can, we can get, we can do this because it's got. Uh, hold on, it's got three's the magic number. It's got, it's got. We didn't start the fire. It's got. (laughs) That's what they're called. Ah, that's true. It's got. Why can't we be friends? There's Atlanteans, Aztecs, Amazonians. So let's say it's got seven. I want to say seven. Oh no! It's more. It is not more, according to me. It is seven. (gasps) Yeah, Yeah, Matthew. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry, Indeed. my there. I got excited. We named all the expansions. Awesome. <laughs> I know that wasn't very fun to listen to, but it was very fun to work out. <laughs> that was, no, that was super impressive. <laughs> it was fun to hear you be right. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because it can get confusing. Even when I was doing the thing, I was like, man, is there this, sometimes there was more than I thought. Sometimes there was less than I thought. It was very interesting. Back over to the Crap Shacks. Seven Wonders. Does Seven Wonders have more or less than Imperial Settlers? Oh, geez. They just had a new one. I can count those. Do it. Go for it. We got time. Count them out. Never never mind. Carcassonne. (laughs) Does Carcassonne. (laughs) (laughs) Seven Wonders. Uh, Seven Wonders. We've got uh, uh, Cities, Leaders, Babel. And well, and Armada. That's the, those are the four big boxes. Didn't didn't one just come out at Essen? That was Armada. Armada, yeah, yeah. That's I would go with less, and I would say four. There you go. Ooh, I counted eight on BGG. Damn. So it is actually. Well, then you've got the promos in it. I mean, you could do that, but then you should have done it for the other ones as well. <laughs> is it the promos? <laughs> That's the danger of this game. Is a bunch of nerds out there. Is like, well, technically, this is an expansion. That's why I hate board gamers, man. <laughs> Don't say it's the worst. <laughs> no, nah, we're gonna blow up our audience. I hate board gamers. <laughs> Actually, technically, this is ah, 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 this is my thing. Well, actually, technically. Uh, hi, it's Matthew here. Uh, yeah, it, it it totally is four. It's four expansions, but um, you know, if you've come to this podcast for the facts, you've come to the wrong podcast. <laughs> The ones I counted, it's possible that I, I had some some mix-ups in there, but the ones I counted Nick, was Nick, eight, Nick, so we're going to go with Nick. 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 Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. What? <laughs> Nick, it's possible that I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, man. Oh, I'm doing me. I support you. I'm going to do me. Yeah, Mike is spiraling out of control over here. <laughs> Flipping out. <laughs> Back over to the wacky rat bastards. Ticket to Ride. Does Ticket to Ride have more or less than Seven Wonders? Or my counting of Seven Wonders, I suppose. <laughs> I want to say less, but maybe I'm completely ignorant. What do you think, Matthew? I think it's more, right? But You've been so right so far, so I'm going to like... Now, keep in mind, I'm not counting standalone games. Jeez, son of a... That was my next question. Oh. So so things like Europe aren't in there because those are standalone games on their own. What was what was Seven Wonders? Eight. Eight. Let's go with, oh, let's go with less then and say... S- oh, but there's so many. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll go with less. I don't know what the actual number would be, but let's go with less. Six. We're going to say six. It is less. It is unfortunately seven. Seven is what we counted. So back over to the Crap Shacks for your last one is Legendary. Marvel Legendary. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so let's see. Oh, gosh. So there's big expansions. There's um, there's Dark City, X-Men, Secret Wars 1 and 2. There's Civil War. Uh, 
Uh, there's the uh, World War Hulk. That's six right there. And then there's small ones. There's like Fantastic Four and Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider-Man Homecoming and Deadpool. That's 10. It's more. I'm saying uh, there's a Captain America. Oh, God, like 12 or 13? 13? Oh, one off. It is 14. Uh, Suck up. Dang. You feel good about yourself. Yeah, 14. And there's like, I know they have a couple more that are in the works and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, this game is, it has the most of, of the ones that I looked at is insane the amount. All righty. Well, that is the end of that round. And that is the end of our game. Yay. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, who won this one? Who I'm going to write game? a letter because <sighs> the last word has not been spoken about this episode. Oh, great. Okay, great, okay, Nick. <laughs> You've angered Dave. <laughs> I know where your house lives. <laughs> I know where your house lives. That's an excellent callback. Way to be, Dave. The Crab Shacks have 15 points, and the Wacky Rat Bastards have 18 points and have won the game. Oh. I'm almost angry we've won because I really want Kiki to lose. <laughs> you know what, Matthew? You said last time you'd want to win when you were on my team. That's not fair. That's oh, I'm glad I won. I'm just not glad you won. <laughs> I think next episode we should do separate scoring. <laughs> Dang. Dave sounds so sulky right now. <laughs> Saltines over here. Next time I'm playing my own game. <laughs> Even if you'd gotten those one or two answers, you still wouldn't have won the game. So um, it wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> Ouch. So thank you all so, so much for joining us here on This Game is Broken. Thank you so much to our teams. And thank you to Gary King, who makes all the graphics and really is the only reason we look even somewhat professional. Um, Because we sure as hell don't act (laughs) professional. Please feel free to check us out on all forms of social media. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we're really fun and cool on all of them. If you have any game (laughs) ideas or any questions or anything like that, please feel free to email us at thisgameisbrokenpodcast at gmail.com. And if you really like what we do, consider supporting our pod pledge over at podpledge.com slash thisgameisbroken. Got an extra couple shekels? You know, throw them our way. It's the Christmas season. You know, feel, you know, be generous and such. And be sure to check us out on YouTube. We have been really cranking up our YouTube content, and it's just subpar. And you should check it out. (laughs) But there's so much of it. Quantity over quality. Um, No, but it's really fun. We're having a great time really trying to push YouTube. So um, check us out over on YouTube. Just this game is broken. You probably knew that already. And all there is last to say is thank you to me. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you. Um, No, but thank you all so, so much for being here with us. And um, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Now, everybody, everyone write in your hate mail about the ticket to ride and what counts as an expansion. It's really important. That I'm we super this right. happy. The I'm Nordic super countries. Nordic countries we, uh, is not in the count, but um, uh, it's a separate expansion. It's a standalone game. No, Whatever. it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Is. No, it's what not. What other ticket to ride game do you play that is a game with? Game. <laughs> Yes, like I will, I will open up my box of it and show it to you. I mean, you've got Switzerland separately, and you've got this, this. is what broke apart TGIB. It's right next to uh, Six Flags, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, Six Flags, China. Yeah, told you so. It's where we're doing our next live show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on there. down to China. Let's put that as a pop pledge reward because I mean, <laughs> if we can all go to China, <laughs> we'll go to the Nanchang Wonder Theme Park. If we can all see Matthew Jude get terribly ill on roller coasters in China, <laughs> that sounds we're doing awesome. that. What?